What is up guys? Steve Conroy with Lugaway Junk Removal and Demolition bringing you another video on this beautiful Saturday. It is 10.30. I just dumped the truck. I'm on my way to give four quotes and I figured it's a perfect time to talk about not only how to price your truck but more importantly how to price jobs. So I'm on my way to give four very different um, estimates. I'm going to give a uh, shed demo quote, demo and removal, a basement clean out, a backyard kind of junk and debris clean out, um, and an estate clean out. It's not really an estate clean out. They did an estate sale, and this is all the leftover stuff. So, you know, it's not huge, but an estate clean out. And then I'm waiting on a fifth, um, waiting for her to respond. It's supposed to be con um, not construction debris, uh, concrete. Uh, removal guy busted up a, a staircase over the weekend uh, last week and he's trying to get someone to remove it but he can't and he's calling dumpster companies whatever so waiting to hear back from him see if I can't swing by there today and um, take a peek of it and, and get him a cost so this all kind of correlates with what the video is about is how to price jobs because you can have your your truck price set you can know what a full truck is you can know what a half is you know whatever three quarters half um, a quarter load your minimum you can know what all of that is but what happens when some when you get a job that's kind of out of the ordinary when you're like oh I know what my full load price is but you know I have to go up three flights of stairs or but it's construction debris so we're gonna talk about the three things uh, that go into um, pricing jobs that you know come up pretty often um, but before that I want to talk about the partnership that I've been speaking to you guys about in a couple of the videos um, it's in full effect I'm releasing the info to you now um, everyone's always asking Google Ads SEO who do you got going for you I use junk removal authority JRA Lee and the guys over there are phenomenal they've been running my Google Ads and SEO for the last I want to say year and a half I don't really remember um, but they're crushing it. Um, I started in, when I did start a couple years ago, it was in the winter and by springtime I had, I was like slammed. I had doubled the calls that I was coming in and I actually pulled back on some of my other advertising sources because the quality of the customer that, that my Google Ads campaign was getting me was, it was just so much better. Um, so the team over there at JRA, they have a bunch of services. They have a call center, they do Google ads, they do SEO, they have truck sales. I just ordered a truck from them. They are phenomenal. It's like an all-in-one package over there. And these guys, you can access these guys. You get someone assigned to your Google ads campaign, they're gonna answer the phone when you call them. I was in like a debacle um, like a couple weeks ago, I had a customer texting me through my website and the app wasn't working on my phone. I was busy on a job, so I called up Foley. I said, listen, dude, you gotta figure this out for me. I don't know what's going on. It's a million degrees out. I'm pissed. I have no idea what's going on. I don't have time for this. And I was a little nicer than that, but, um, and we got off the phone, sends me a text like five minutes later. He's like, dude, everything's squared away. There's a little glitch in something. It was on my end. And he's like, I squared it away. You're good to go. Texted the customer, landed the job. It was great. I'm pretty confident that if I was with another business, it would not have gone that easy and that smoothly. So these guys offer a great service. Um, the deal that they have going on is Click the link below in the description or call them on the phone number that's below in the description and you're gonna get $100 off uh, any of their services. So talk to these guys, do your research um, about what you're looking for, but do it with them, call them. They're all nice people over there. Um, whether you do work with them or not, you're gonna feel confident getting off the phone with them. You're, you're gonna end up doing it with them. If you have the budget to do it and they'll be honest with you and let you know, hey, you know, if you're just starting out and you're making X amount, maybe call us in a couple months. They're not gonna like rope you in and, you know, be like, you need us now. We're gonna do so much for you and not deliver. These guys deliver tenfold 
and I wouldn't go with any other business. Like I said, they have a bunch of services. I only do Google Ads and SEO with them now, but I know in the future, as I'm expanding the business, um, I will be using their other services for sure. So click the link in the description below, call them on that phone number so that you're not the, hey, uh, Steve from YouTube sent me. So you could be that guy. Matt Mary is gonna hate it, but he hasn't invited me on his boat yet, so that's cool, you could be that guy. There's three things that go into pricing jobs. What are you hauling, where is it, and how long is the job going to take? Those are the three things that are going to really affect what your costs are um, for doing the job itself and what you should charge your customer. You have your full truck, your three quarter load, your half load, and your quarter load. And as you're you know, getting bigger and getting better with estimating and you, know, you wanna be a little more fair to your customer, you can start throwing in other price points, you know, an eighth of a truck, a third of a truck, um, you know, a sixth of a truck, whatever, as the price points go up. You wanna be a little more fair so you're not you know, charging them for a half load when it's really a third of a load or three eighths of a load. Or it can get, you know, you can really hone in on it if you want. But before you even get to that point, you need to figure out how to price those four original price points. How you're gonna get your pricing for your, for your truck, um, for your business, you gotta call around. Um, if you're a local guy, call another local guy. Call the franchises, Junk King, Junk Luggers, 1-800-GOT-JUNK, see what they're charging, but call the local guys too. And if, if they're not like miserable people who think that like, oh, this, you're gonna take my business, um, you know, then they should be willing to talk to you. The amount of people that I talk to on a day-to-day -day basis um, about, you know, them starting a business in my service area, you know, I'm gonna give them all the information that I can. I'm not gonna maybe give like every little secret I have that I've learned, but you know, I'll help them out because what happens is, you wind up being the low baller and you fuck it up for everyone in your service area. And I'm gonna rewind this and have this repeat again in the video. It's gonna be inserted here. You wind up being the low baller and you fuck it up for everyone in your service area. Okay, so just remember that. When you're the low baller, you're just messing it up for everyone else who's doing it. If you did it properly and you did it the right way, you would just pr you you would start out on the same level as all these other guys, and you'd be making more money because you don't have as much overhead. I have so not so much, but I have way more overhead than a guy that's just starting a junk room a junk removal business today. So that's that. But once you've honed in on all of that, you need to hone in on pricing by the job. Three things that come into play when pricing jobs. What junk or material you're hauling, where is it located, and how long is the job gonna take? So let's touch on that first one. What are you hauling? Is it junk? Is it construction debris? Is it concrete, yard waste? What, what are you hauling? Because everything is gonna have a difference in weight, everything's gonna have a difference in where you might be able to dump the stuff, what it's gonna cost you to dump it, which means that you're gonna have to charge your customer more because it's costing you more to dump it. So you need to figure out, you know, if you're dumping a bed load of, of uh, concrete, you need to be able to go to your customer and say, this is how I charge for concrete. I got a video up here I already made for you. This is how I charge for concrete. This is what the concrete price is going to be for this job. Uh, construction debris. You need to be able to tell your customer, listen, this is our price for a full load. This construction debris is going to be significantly heavier than a regular full load of residential junk. We have to tack on X. You need to find that number. I can't tell you what that number is because I, Every job is different and everyone's market is different. I've done jobs where I go around and I kick some of the bags and I lift some of them up and I say, listen, this is our full load. I'm just using full load as an example, obviously. This is our full load price. This stuff's a little bit heavier. I gotta tack on an extra 50 bucks for it. 
And I've also done jobs where I'm doing it and I'm looking at stuff and I say, I gotta tack on another 250 for this because the weight is unbelievable in some of these bags. So it, it's all gonna depend on each job, but you need to know that you can charge more and you need to charge more to save yourself because you're gonna start losing money if you just start taking all these jobs and you're not you know, being compensated for, for the extra uh, weight and the extra effort for it. So you know, th that's where the effort comes into play right there, is where is this stuff? Is it on the third floor of an apartment building? We clean out apartment buildings in the city all day long and I'm confident the only reason we get all these jobs is because when I tell the customer and they say I want a written estimate I say boom cool I draw it up on my phone and I email it right over to them sometimes I don't even need to send it in a real estimate form I just write them an email and I say this is how we charge this is what this job is going to cost based on these parameters here are the numbers you're looking at and I get the job every single time do those jobs suck yeah that's why you have to charge more for them. And if you don't get the job, regardless of, of where it is or what job it is, if you don't get the job, at least since you know how to charge for your service, you don't need to feel bad. If you're trying to fill a slot, you don't need to feel bad if you don't get the job. If you're trying to fill a slot on your schedule um, and you know the customer is like, hey, you know, I think it's a little high, then yeah, maybe you know I've knocked off as much as $300 on a job before just because we're already there and I know I'm gonna make a good profit on it either way. Um, and, and the customer's you know, like, okay, yeah, do it. Um, and I've done that, you know, I've knocked off 100 bucks, I've knocked off 50 bucks. Um, not often, but it happens. You do it out of convenience. But if I quote a job and someone says, that's ridiculous, that's too much, I am so happy to walk away from that because right off the bat, that customer doesn't know what they're paying for because they're gonna get you know some low baller guy to come over and he's gonna take half of the stuff and not show up for the rest or he's gonna change his price in between the job and they're not gonna wanna pay and he's gonna be stuck doing the job for a super low price it happens all the time it's just it's not worth it's not worth your time know how to charge be confident in how to charge and you're, you're gonna be successful doing this stuff like I said whether you get the job or not the confidence you have speaking to these customers is going to get you the job so now labor how long is this job going to take all comes back to can I back right up to it is it on the third floor you need to know what you're charging for your labor rate for your guys to be on site for you to be on site you need to know all this stuff up front so you can present the customer with the estimate. You need to be able to know, you know, last time I did an apartment complex job on the third floor, it took us four hours. And this one's going to be the same amount of stuff, but you have to bag it up. So maybe it takes five hours. You got to charge them for the bags. You got to, you know, charge them for that extra time that's going to be there. Use your experiences in this field and you know, you just use them to your advantage. It's all, every day is like a, a, a learning day and you're getting paid to learn, you're getting paid to hone in on your business and, and get stuff done. I love doing junk removal. I love providing the information for you. I'm still learning year four in the business. I'm still learning and you have to love doing this stuff to make this worthwhile because it's a grind and people are always like, yeah, I hustle all this stuff. You need to want to be able to grow your business and um, learn the ins and outs of it. Because being on the truck and doing the labor is one thing, but really being able to hone in on your business and understand pricing, how to price stuff, um, it really makes a massive difference in the way you present um, yourself to your customer. I know there's probably some stuff that I missed in this video, um, trying to remember all this stuff off the top of my head, but if there's anything I missed, let me know in the comments below. Hit up JRA, let them know you got the info from me. They'll know already through the link or through the number that you call. Um, get in touch with them, help yourselves out, and uh, and get the ball rolling with, with them. It's family over there, all good people. Um, if you're new to the channel, 
like the videos, subscribe to the channel. Like I said, I know I missed some stuff. Um, let me know in the comments below if you got any questions, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Happy Holland, boys.